things like, um, you know, this is what, 13.5? Um, no, this is thirteen point two. Yeah, but the, it's chapter thirteen point five, right? I know, but right? questions here. Right. Okay. So the the questions are thirteen point two and thirteen point three, yeah. and thirteen point two is uh, I'm going to use some fancy fancy notation here. I'm going to do the summation uh, n equals three to eleven of uh, n choose three. Okay. Okay. And for 13.3, I'm going to do the summation of uh, n equals 8 to 15 of uh, n choose 4. What? <clears throat> How did you get this from this? Okay. So let's go through... Should it be a 11 choose 3? Um, so let's go through and, like, write out what these are, um, sort of as a recipe, <laughs> okay? okay? Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, this summation tells us to go one by one, starting at n equals 3, and each time bump n up by 1, and stop when the n is 11. Okay. Okay, so 3 choose 3, then I write a plus, because this is a sum, and then I do 4 choose 3, and then I write a plus, and so on, all the way to, um, <clears throat> at the very end, I stop at uh, 11 choose 3. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's what this symbol means. Does that make sense? Yes. So just, just as a very simple example, um, if I were to write the summation uh, n equals uh, 3 to 11 of just n, mm -hmm. then that would be 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way to plus, 11. right, all the way up to 11. Wait, what okay. do you mean? All the way up to 11 or 11 times? No, I mean all the way up to 11. Okay. So this, these are like instructions that we're giving um, to the computer that say start at 3. Okay. Increase n by 1 each time until n gets to 11. Okay. Okay. So, um... The computer reads this as n is 3. Okay, let's make n one bigger. I'm adding up n each time. Right, so first n is 3. Now I make n one bigger. Now n is 4. And I'm adding up n each time. So now n is 4. And then I write a plus. And n is 5. And then I write a plus, And so on. All the way up to n is 11. And then, you know, I'm done. Okay, <laughs> um, so think of this symbol as a set of instructions we're giving to a computer. Okay. Okay, and um, for more complicated situations, um, well, let's, let's look at what happens here. What's the first symbol that I write in 13.3? If I'm, if I'm summing n equals 8 up to 15, okay. and the symbol that I'm summing is n choose 4, what's the first thing that I write in my summation? 4 over 4. No, 8 over 4. 8 over 4. And what's the next thing I write? 9 over 4. Right. 10 over 4. Okay. 11 over 4. 15 over All 4. the way up to 15 over 4. 15 over 4. Okay. Uh oh so Ooh, now, at least, that wasn't, your phone, or huh? this day. At least it wasn't this day. Yes, at least. <laughs> um, so now the question is, what's a clever way to add this up? Um, well, if I want to talk about, um, so I'm adding up uh, n choose four. Okay. Right. And if I want to talk about where that lies in the hockey stick. 
realm of things. <laughs> um, I should have, like, a, a clever way to write this out. Um, <clears throat> well, I wish this thing now, I'm going to do this. Watch. Dot, dot. Oh, maybe I should do it like this. Dot, <laughs> dot, <laughs> dot. Right? Um... Wow. And now I've got, uh, you know what, actually, let's do this. Um, sorry. Um, and then now we do dot, dot, dot. Dot. All the way up to however many... And then I've got another dot, dot, dot. Uh, and what I mean is this. I'll explain now what I mean. I mean that um, to do n choose 4, I'm first going to do... Uh, sorry. I'm going to first do 3 choose 3. Whoops. I'm going to first do 3 choose 3. Then I'm going to do 4 choose 3. Then I'm going to do 5 choose 3. And I'm going to add them all up, all the way down to um, whatever n choose 3 is, right? And then all of them will add up to, uh, so I'm going to say this is um, n minus 1 choose 3, and then they all add up to n choose 4, okay? And so what I'm saying is that, whoops, all of these choose 3 add up to this choose 4. Okay. Okay, let me, let me do an example. So that's like a choose, choose? So let's see here. Let's do a specific example. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I should maybe I should have like one uh I should have like a a giant Pascal's triangle of dots. <laughs> So that I can go to that Pascal's triangle and explain all this stuff. I wish this thing you know had I mean? this a stamp button. Right, exa exactly. So, um, anyway, let's say we're trying to figure out um, this thing right here. Okay. okay? And that would be... Um, N is going to be... Uh, so this is n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals 5, n equals 6, n equals 7, n equals 8, right? And k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So we're computing 8 choose 4 using the hockey stick identity, okay? So to do that, we're going to add up all of these things. Okay, and all of these things is exactly 3 choose 3, 4 choose 3, 5 choose 3, 6 choose 3, 7 choose 3, add them all up, and we get 8 choose 4. Okay. Right? Yes. And these come, come about uh, from, these come about from saying, okay, what if we choose, uh, so let's, let's write all this out. Um, in computing a choose 4, we're going to do 3 choose 3 plus 4 choose 3 okay this is what we're adding up and we're saying at the end of the day uh, all of this adds up to a choose 4 
Okay. And the hockey stick that's happening is exactly this hockey stick. Okay. Okay. We're you doing... want to trace it in, like, a different color that you haven't used Yes. Before. Good. Um, and look, I can even do... I can even do this. Uh, I can do the transparency very transparent. And then I can say what we're doing is we're doing... Uh, Well, exactly you can kind of this, see right? Um, whoops. Uh, so, do you see what I'm doing now? <laughs> um, yeah. And let's see here. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're adding up uh, three choose three. That's this point. Four choose three. 5 choose 3, 6 choose 3, 7 choose 3. Okay. And we're putting them all together, adding them up to get 8 choose 4. Okay. Okay. And going back to our previous discussion, we're thinking of this as uh, the 3 choose 3 as we're picking the fourth person to arrive as our fourth person in the committee. Okay. Okay? And here we're picking the fifth person to arrive as the fourth person in the committee. Yes. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Um, and so on, all the way up to here we're picking the eighth person. Eighth person um, is the fourth member uh, of the committee. Was you, did you just say that this one was the fourth member of the committee? No. Here I'm saying that the fifth person to arrive is the fourth member of the committee. And how could this person and this person be the same thing? They're not. This, this person right here is exactly when we're picking the eighth person to arrive as the fourth member of the committee. Isn't this guy already the fourth member of the committee, though? No, this is a totally different situation. These are all the situations where oh. I'm picking exactly the fifth person to arrive as the fourth member oh, of the committee. Oh, okay. So I didn't realize these were all different situations. You see what I mean? Yes. Okay, so, um, in other words, of the four people that have arrived, I've picked exactly three to be in the committee and, and no now more. And you're picking this one. Right? And now I'm saying, okay, the fifth person to arrive, definitely going to be the fourth person in the committee. Okay. Right? Um, and you can say, well, what if I've already picked four? No, that, that isn't accounted for in four choose three. That's accounted for in three choose three. Okay. Okay? Because I'm saying, so think of it this way. Um... If, uh, let's say that, 